Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Sambhu from Cloud Tech. Today I will show you if you would like to connect your AWS account from uh, like Microsoft Visual Studio, then how we can connect our AWS account. Like it's kind of programmatically access if you would like to give to your particular uh, your AWS account from that Visual Studio. Uh, then how we can give like if you would like to create a bucket from the visual studio or if you would like to delete any object from the particular bucket or if you would like to create any lambda function from that visual studio what we need basically first we need to install that uh, like a microsoft visual studio code or maybe uh, visual studio so there are two edition uh, like uh, let me show you that Visual Studio. Visual Studio ID here. One is the Visual Studio code and one is the Visual Studio. Okay. So two different ID. So just let me show you that. So any one you can install here. Okay. And one more we have like Visual Studio code editing. Okay. This two any one we can install and we can uh, uh, like show you like so in my setup I have already installed that Visual Studio code. So if you want to install again, just click on download here. Then it will ask you like what version you want to download and zip CLI how you want to take and then you can uh, click on as per your uh, then just click on this and then it will start the download that exe format right then you can install that once you install then it will be something like that or page will come and then how we can install the AWS toolkit so there are two options either you can search here in this uh, visual studio code once you have installed right so here I have, I have downloaded right so this download if you just click on this then it will ask you for installation it will go for installation let me show that yeah it will go here like this this program cannot install this version because design the following processes are kind of, okay so I have already installed here so we are not going to install again okay so now how we can install the AWS toolkit so there are two ways we can do one is the by just go to the extension and then just search here AWS then we can see here tool, uh, AWS toolkit uh, just click on this then you can install and another option if you uh, suppose don't know uh, this extension then you are not able to find right then what you can do you can go here and just search AWS toolkit for visual studio something like that or visual studio code okay so just type like this or maybe this is the visual studio and for visual studio code let's search like this come like this and then if you click on install right it will take you this AWS toolkit and if you just click here then again redirect back to your visual studio Okay. If, if it is not installed then you have to first install this visual studio code okay then just click on install here so it will take few seconds to install now it's completed and it is asking aws toolkit collect animals new matrix for drive toolkit improvement okay so now you can see here like aws came here now let's go to here and if you go here let me show you this now it is already connected to my default profile which I have already configured AWS CLI right. So let me show you if it is not there for you if it is AWS CLI is not configured right the default profile is not there then it won't take right. So let me show you that how we can connect. So let me sign out this part first and let me show you how we can uh, uh, again sign in back okay. So now let's go to the add connection and if you go here so here two options yeah. aws explorer aws q code commit and here one more option is there aws code catalyzed right so for our demo let's we are going to export this uh, so aws explorer okay here two options either you can directly sso sign in to this uh, your aws account okay by using this uh, url and region and another option is by using this provided i am role credential you can specify the profile name then access key and secret key okay guys so let's me give you that so cloud tech profile cloud tech demo something like this and then we need to give the access key and that secret key so i have already access key and secret key so let's select this access key and then we have to provide the secret key also 
so i am going to delete this cigarette key or maybe i am going to inactivate this cigarette key once this demo is done since i have already shown this thing right so it will be the security issue right otherwise so now i am connected here if you see here right the message came connected to the i am credit cell so let me show you that one thing quickly so let me go to my aws s3 so that i can show you like a hot on bucket i have here so let me show you that so total three bucket i have so let's go here and just click on s3 here now i have also hit three buckets okay so and if you uh, i don't have any lambda so let me show you that also i don't have any lambda so if you want you can uh, create a lambda function also okay so, or maybe simply is the s3 i can create s3 also that will be quickly okay so let me show you that so just click on create create bucket and here is the bucket name we have to give suppose this code okay something like this i am giving now bucket is created let me show you that it is refreshing right so now here bucket is came you see here cloud tech demo if you see right and if you go here just to refresh this so here also i can able to see but guys one more point i forget to mention keep in mind this user should have that programmatical access so when we are creating the user right so if you not yet watch my previous video about the im user how we used to create right please have a look that how we can create the im user and we can give that access like programmatical access so that programmatic access should be there otherwise you cannot access by programmatically okay now if i want to upload anything right suppose i want to upload some file here so let's upload here and let's go here now it is came right suppose i want to upload one more so just to show you that now if we refresh here here i can see and here also if you see here one file is uploaded now if you want to delete that so how we can delete so just simply right click and delete and it will ask you that confirmation so you can delete now let's go here it should be one now and if you want to delete that uh, one more object here so that also it's possible just click on right click on and just delete this then enter the bucket name take demo deleting now bucket is deleted right and if you go here this bucket is not there here one interesting thing is like suppose this bucket you want to delete right something is data is there right if you want to delete from here right it won't allow actually it will say some object is there this bucket is not empty you cannot delete from aws console but if you want to delete from uh, that programmatical from this uh, visual studio code right it will allow you let me show you that suppose copy the name and suppose delete okay and type the name now it is deleted see it is not giving that error message or warning message whatever error message we have seen here right even though object we have it's kind of forcefully deleted see that is deleted so this is also one kind of advantage we can say one kind of disadvantage also we can say like there is no confirmation or no way to like prevent that also okay guys so that part keep in mind so i hope this session will helpful to you guys and if you feel this video is valuable please uh, like and share surround with your friend and if you feel this video is valuable then please subscribe my channel that will really inspire to me that will really help to me okay guys i will see you in my next video chalo bye